the third video about the so-called mixer circuit. There are two other videos regarding this issue and I surely want to refer to them. Positive lead, negative lead, ground, often ground, uh, decoupling unit, much more information in the earlier videos. And I want to say give more attention now to how that IF amplifier is made. So not only the mixer, but uh, how that IF amplifier is made. Say this is 100 ohms up to 470 ohms, 100k, 100 nanofarad. Anyway, the decoupling unit is always extremely important. I cannot stress that enough. In a radio, we have to do with say high frequencies, say 9 megahertz, 10 megahertz, that also can travel over the power supply lead. That means that they have to be suppressed, and that's done here. In the early video, we had the mixer with a coil, and on my YouTube channel there are many circuits and I've made them by purpose to make it easy where no coils are used. So no coils like this, only say ceramic filters with a bandwidth in my case of approximately 10 kilo hertz, 10 kilo cycles. That's enough for an AM demodulation, etc. etc. So I uh, draw here a coil, say this one with a white core, that's good for 4, 5, 5 kilo cycles. And in such a coil you will find a capacitor when you open it up, open it up, so remove here these two, these pins, open it up and you will see a capacitor of in the range of say 300 picofarad up to 470 picofarad, I don't know that exactly. It's not very important, but anyway, uh, 1k resistor here. Here have we here we have that transistor. Could be a And like I told in earlier videos, I only focus here on this, say, radio mixer. And the word mixer is not very, say, precise because it is frequency transformation, what that circuit does. And I surely want to say, uh, look at the earlier videos about this issue. So we have to hear the signal from the front end, say from the antenna. It's amplified. I want to give it perhaps another uh, schematic in the next video. This is, by the way, part three May two thousand twenty one. Uh, 
I have to say, look on my watch. About 25 May. It's 25 May. So, 25 May. Anyway, um, okay, the whole mixer circuit. And here is the local oscillator. That local oscillator, local oscillator has to give out a frequency that differs uh, to the, uh, the difference is given by the IF filter that's here and in this case it is four five five kilocycles could also be one mega cycles could be ten mega cycles anyway the local oscillator has to uh, give out a frequency where uh, at the end of the mixer transistor the so-called mixer transistor the IF frequency is generated and that the IF frequency is in fact uh, often uh, in old uh, say radio circuit 455 kilocycles, 460 kilocycles, 450 kilocycles, but it can differ much. So uh, when you want to generate an other IF frequency, uh, you need a local oscillator that gives out uh, the, say, a higher, that higher frequency that you want to, say, generate here, or the lower frequency. So we have, say, the upmixing. or the down mixing and the good thing of it all is that that it also refers to VHF and uh, well uh, that has of course everything to do with the classical radio and physics theory. When we are talking about waves, waveforms, mixing, uh, const uh, uh, constructive uh, amplification or destructive amplification, anyway. De and I mean destructing waveforms, etc. So um, here we have that 555KC coil filter that's here. For instance, this one could be another one. Uh, there are, say, here quite a few filters, filter units, and you can choose. Uh, the IF frequency that you want to use in a radio uh, completely by yourself, like I thought. Anyway, um, here we have the say amplification factor. Say it's here 220 ohms, that's a good value. Could also be 470 ohms. But it's very, very important that when we connect here a capacitor in the range of 40 picovars up to 470 picovars uh, and here we have say the BC547 or the BF199 pin connections are in the earlier videos plus more info in the early videos uh, we really set the amplification so this 
capacitor sets in a certain way the amplification. The amplification though of the so-called mixer and it it's really not a mixer but it's a frequency transformating unit anyway that means uh, we have here now amplification here we have the output signal say it's a difference between the <coughs> A local oscillator signal sent in to the base or to the emitter. That's also important. Uh, that capacitor, local oscillator, uh, say. Uh, frequency differs, that's uh, differs. That's uh, to say a general thing that we can say. Uh, this is also going to Earth, so it's the same connection here and here. Uh, CX can be sent into the base and into the emitter, but of course when this is on ground and this is on ground um, there perhaps in certain cases though no, there will be no uh, say energy left out of the local oscillator because this capacitor here shortcuts it so it's a critical value and this capacitor is also a critical value But to give a good idea, say 100 picofarad is okay. And here, say 40 picofarad is okay. Here, out of the antenna, say uh, between say 100 picofarad and 470 picofarad is okay. And in this way, you can set. Uh, the mixing process. Local oscillator gives out a certain amount of energy to the base or to the emitter. Uh, the antenna circuit via that high F amplifi amplification gives out a certain amount of energy to the mixer. These energies match in a certain way, that's important, they must match. When they don't match, so when the antenna signal is too fierce and the local oscillator signal is too low, there is no mixing, uh, and I mean there is no frequency transformation. And the same, uh, when the local oscillator is too low, the energy is too low and the high frequency, the antenna circuit is too, uh, too fierce. There's also no proper, say, mixing or, and I mean, of course, frequency transformation. Uh, so, these are, say, the properties of the standard mixer, the only mixer that uh, I have experience with. I don't have, have experience with, with, with all kinds of other mixers, say diode mixers, MOSFET mixers, etc, etc, but anyway. And the final video will be about how to, say, pick up the signal here, out of that 455KC uh, coil, and again, there are uh, circuits on my YouTube channel where I have used the very very simple way of ceramic filters. They are here. Ceramic filters also can do the 455KC IF 
amplifier job.